गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी शेल डिस्कस ऑन मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर वन टू जीरो टू थ्री टू फोर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट डिजिटल डिजाइन एंड कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद सब्जेक्ट कोड बी सी एस थ्री नॉट टू इन दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ए डिफरेंशिएट लैच एंड फ्लिफ्लॉफ्स फाइव मार्क्स सोल्यूशन इन डिजिटल सर्किट बोथ लैच एंड फ्लिफ्लॉफ्स आर बाइनरी स्टोरेज एलिमेंट्स वन लैच और वन फ्लिफ्लॉफ स्टोर्स वन बिट ऑफ बाइनरी इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके फंक्शनैलिटी वाइज बोथ आर सेम बोथ स्टोर वन बिट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन इन डिजिटल सर्किट्स वन लैच मीन्स इट स्टोर्स वन बिट ऑफ बाइनरी इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक वाइज वन फ्लिफ्लॉफ मीन्स इट ऑल्सो स्टोर्स वन बिट ऑफ बाइनरी इन्फॉर्मेशन देन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस दैट वी शेल सी द स्टोरेज एलिमेंट्स दैट ऑपरेट विथ सिग्नल लेवल्स आर रेफर टू एज लैचेस okay both are digital circuits both store one bit of information but here latches they operate with signal levels flip flops are the storage elements that operate with signal transitions okay the storage elements that operate with signal levels they are called as latches the storage elements that operate with signal transitions are referred to as flip flops next second difference latches are said to be level sensitive flip flops are said to be edge sensitive okay then third difference latches are the basic circuits using latches flip flops are constructed okay next the last one latches are used in asynchronous sequential circuits flip flops are used in synchronous sequential circuits so these are the four comparison of latches and flip flops this is how they can be differentiated so next we shall little bit analyze the basic circuit that is sr latch and see how it is made a flip flop okay example we shall discuss about sr latch this is the logic diagram of sr latch it has two nand gates so nand gates based sr latch we are considering here so s and r are the two inputs q and q dash are the outputs always a flip flop has two outputs okay one is normal output that is q another which will be complement of that that is called as q bar so this q bar output is connected as one of the input to this nand gate another q output is connected to this nand gate there is no connection here this dot indicates it is connected there if there is no dot no connection okay so this is the basic circuit that is latch is the basic circuit using this if this is sr latch sr flip flop will be built okay what is the function table of this sr latch so two inputs are shown here in the function table two outputs q q dash if uh, s r they are logic 1 and 0 q will be 0 q dash will be 1 so next if inputs are changed to 1 and 1 the output remain same as previous so this input we can call it as no change input that is if both are 1 and 1 there is no change okay then if input is changed to 0 1 the output changes to 1 0 okay if s is 0 r is 1 q will be 1 q dash will be 0 then again if you make the inputs 1 and 1 the output will not be changed it will be same as previous it continues to be 1 0 q 1 q dash 0 hence 1 and 1 inputs for s and r they do not make any change in the output whatever bits are stored in the latch continue to be stored only means that is how it behaves like storage element okay then 0 0 input is forbidden because when input 0 0 are given both try to be 1 and 1 that violates the rule both the outputs cannot be same in case of flip flop if q is 0 the other q bar should be 1 and vice versa okay so figure a shows sr latch which doesn't have any control input so this sr latch what we discussed now 
it doesn't have any control input hence at any time if input change for any reason so if uh, for any reason yes and or accidentally or unintentionally if they change anyway output is going to change so it is not useful for practical purposes so hence this circuit is changed to this one so this part is as it is including one two more nand gates this way so here these two inputs are tied they are given enable input or this is called as control input right the same s and r like this inputs are there the same outputs q and q dash are here okay here it, this circuit is having control input now this circuit can behave like either sr latch or sr flip flop so that depends on type of enable input if enable input is this kind then it behaves like latch if enable input is like this means clock pulses so here enable or clock if enable bit is given then it is sr latch if clock input is given then it is sr flip flop so what does it mean so latches are level sensitive flip flops are edge sensitive so here when enable signal this low state 0 0 this enable signal this is high state it is logic high here during this instant it is logic 0 here that is low state so when enable bit is 0 so 0 yes star and r star r 1 yes star and r star r 1 see when any one input is 0 here and gate output is 0 but this is nand gate means both will be 1 so when both are 1 to this base circuit whatever previous state is there that will be maintained it will not change means whatever bit is stored that will continue to be stored okay suppose if this has to be changed then enable bit has to be made high okay only when this is made high then depending on the inputs this will take the state and that will be coming here so this kind of uh, circuit which is sensitive to level of the control signal this is control signal level of the signal that is called as latch now instead of this enable signal if clock pulses are given okay so from here to here one time period for half cycle it is logic 1 for half cycle it is logic 0 we call that as duty cycle 50% that kind of signal is clock pulse and if such clock pulse is given here the circuit will be sensitive to edges of the clock okay when it is going from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 depending on the circuit whether it is based on nand circuit or nor circuit okay so the circuit which is sensitive to clock edges that will be called as flip flop okay so the basic storage element which is level sensitive that is called as latch and the basic storage element which is edge sensitive that is called as flip flop okay so that completes the discussion on question 3a differentiate latches and flip flops i hope you understood thank you